And that's what we need to remember, man. We are the prize. We got the money. We got the swag. We got the culture. Mm -hmm. We got it all. But too many times, man, we just, we think less of ourselves or we think like we're not worthy of it because we've been beat down so much, you know, by the man at work and we get beat Mm -hmm. down by women at home or whatever. So it's time to change that narrative, man, and get some passports, get out here, see something. Don't fall in love with the first thing you see. You know, have some fun. Enjoy yourself, especially if you've been cooped up with somebody complaining, man, all the all the damn mm-hmm. time. You know, it, it's treacherous out here in these streets, man. It is, man. And it's hard, man. Like, for most guys who just coming from, just, just coming from the States and they just going overseas, maybe it's their first time going overseas. Man, telling them not to fall in love the first time, brother. When you in that America and you don't even know what it's like that for a woman to say good morning, have you right. eaten yet? How you doing? What can I get you? Are you gonna do? Are you doing all right today? How's your midday at work? See, women overseas they ask you the stuff. Why you ain't even over there? And right? so, how do you deal with? How do you adjust to going from complete nothing? of a woman giving you no type of love, no type of femininity to being loved bombed by it. It's hard, man. Yeah, it's hard. It's really hard. You know, when I was in the Navy, so a lot of guys, man, let me tell you, the reason I joined the Navy, short story, the reason I joined the Navy, my recruiter, he was smart. He's a brother. I thought he was the coolest name, Fred. I could, I could kick Fred butt right now, but anyway, (laughs) Fred shows me, you know, before all this phone stuff was out, phone photos or whatever, everybody had the scrapbook, you know. So Fred had a scrapbook of the Philippines. That's how he recruited me to the Navy. So he's showing me the scrapbook. And, you know, me, 17 years old, man, all I'm used to is my little four block radius. I'm like, whoa, where do I sign up? So a lot of those guys that as soon as they got in the Navy, they sent them to Subic Bay which was when they had the Navy base in the Philippines. And the guys, a lot of them, the first woman they met, they married them, brought them back to the States. Fast forward, anybody that's that's in the chat room that's been in the Navy, well, at the base, they had a little thing. If the light was on, I mean, the man was, was on a cruise, you know, for six months. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. all of those women, bro, when that guy go on that cruise, they was in the clubs. Giving that wow. thing, up. I mean, it was horrible, bro. It was horrible. Man. He was out there slinging that yellow monkey, huh? Slanging it, man. So my Damn. suggestion, man, is that, wow. like, I took my girl over to the United States, man, to visit for three days, and everybody was like, "Man, you you only bring it up for three days?" Yep, that's it, three day maximum, bro. Yeah. I ain't moving back to the states with her. I'm not doing it. I don't want to change her way of thinking. You know, you want to keep them in their environment you know, Mm -hmm. with their cultures and their customs, because, you know, I even had to catch myself because she's selling her house and I'm selling mine. Well, we went over to her house and I'm like, oh, these damn, her son lives over there. He's 21. I'm like, man, he's got all these dishes over there. And she starts cleaning up. I was like, no, F that, you know, get his butt up and blah, blah, blah. And I thought about it for a minute. I was like, man, you trying to change her whole way of thinking. Yeah. her coach. That woman, they're used yeah. to cleaning up after their sons and, mm-hmm. and the woman doing everything. But for me, I'm like, man, you need to let him be a man. Let him yeah. look out after himself or whatever. You know, and I said, no, nah, Jalen, that ain't your business. Leave alone. I went through the same thing. Leave it alone. Stay out of that, bro. Yeah. Stay out of that, bro. I'm good, man. But, you know, yeah. I mean, on, on, on the down low, man, Ronan, we may be neighbors, man. I'm looking at um, possibly Santo Domingo um, or either Santiago. I've been doing a little a little bit of research, man, you know. Look at Port the Plotter, too. You might like Port the Plotter. Yeah, man. because I, I just kind of got pissed off at the politics of Colombia, you know. It's like I put in for up to a three-year visa, but they only gave me a year. Mm-hmm. And so what they're trying to do is trying to make money. So it's like if they only give you a year, well, you got to renew it, and you got to pay the same amount to get it renewed the next year. So I'm like, I don't want a country. I don't want to live in a country that's that's not visa friendly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm looking at some other options, man. And uh, when you when I talked to you on the phone the other day, you was like, man, this guy's been over here for 18 years and ain't been back. <laughs> you know, and don't have no no paperwork, no, pay- no yeah. nothing. And they just no, charge him a hundred dollars. Yeah, DR different. <laughs> DR hit different. DR ain't worried about that, man. Shout out to you, Ross Travels, the brother watching, checking this out from Australia. 
man. Shout out to you, my brother. Appreciate that. Yeah, but DR hit different. DR is like, as long as you ain't out there bothering nobody doing nothing, they they cool, mm-hmm. man. And um, you know, you come to DR, man, you could just stay and you got to pay a fee, but it's small, it's not even a lot. Yeah. I got the um I got the chart somewhere, Jay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to you how much you have to pay for uh, yeah, for your stay. Sure. It's so cheap, you wouldn't even believe it. But um, let me ask you something, brother uh Cobra, and we're gonna go around. Um, in dating these women, did you meet any of the women's family? In Colombia, any of them? Doctor? Uh, Doctor? Yeah, not not parents, but I met um, I met like brothers and sisters, and okay. cousins. Okay. So, but not not uh, not mother or father, no. Yeah, because family is really important. You know, um, when a woman start dealing, liking you and liking you, she'll, she'll bring. Not saying they sometimes the family could be in on the scam. I done saw that, but um, a lot of the time, yeah, I have saw that with, with, with people. But mom in the hospital, um, yeah, they, yeah, mom in the hospital, mom, I'm probably you know, they're, they're probably the mom, you know, they saying all this stuff, man. They need something. The mom and IV, mom up there, but I'm telling you, man. But when a when a real woman like you, man, she gonna introduce you to the fam. You are gonna be around. People gonna know. Mm-hmm. But my thing for men, and um, y'all can tell me what y'all think about this. I tell men, don't really get serious with a woman unless you're going to be in that country. Like, you trying to do not, not saying long distance relationships can't work, but I tell men, man, just have your fun. Come there like you, Uncle Jay, you said it. You know, that's my thing. Come get your reset. Have a good time. Go on. Eventually, once you get your money right and all that, and you will get your money right because we men, we we are compounding interest. If you if you working on your stuff, working on your finance, you're gonna get better and better and better. Like, look, when when whenever you start, the women got to leave. They doing they got their beauty, but as time going, we know beauty fades, but your money goes up. I'm, I'm a living witness of it. It done happened to me. Now I don't need no job. I could do what I want. I don't have no job. I could I can I can get on the live every day if I want it. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, man, in my 40s, I was able to do this. Anybody can do it. But you just have to have a plan. That's why you need a brotherhood. You have to have people telling you how to get your finances straight, how you get these things, man. And and too many of us, we don't do that because we're often competing. That's the one thing I did like about the DR, man. And but I'm going to tell you, dudes were not competing with you over no women. There's too many women. We call them mangoes because they grow from trees. You know what I'm <laughs> it's just too many women for me to compete. With you over a woman. There's women everywhere. And, and man, I, what? And look, DR got Colombians, they got Venezuelans, and all these, look, Panama, all these countries got the same thing. Latin America, they all got these deals where they can all go to each other's uh, countries. So you're going to win any way to cut go. The biggest thing is to stand together and realize that there's forces in America working against us. I'm telling you, they're against men, they're against men. You turn on any TV show, you're like, boy, I'm going to watch this show. It look good. They put a, b- a bucket of sugar in it. I mean, just as soon as the jump on, <laughs> it is, look, no matter what it is, I was watching that new uh, Star Wars. Like, I'm a Star Wars oh, fan. God. Man, but the acolyte, <laughs> look, bro, I am I love Star Wars, man. I'm a big, yeah. I mean, I grew up watching that, man, from a, from a little kid. I turn on Star Wars and the force and two women can have a baby. Man, there's some booze. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> I so lost it. I'm in there. Look, I'm in there swinging like what your boy name on board in the hood. <laughs> Trey, I'm, <in. laughs> I'm, the air, baby. I'm swinging boy, at the air. I'm like boy in the hood. <laughs> man, what oh, is that? Man, 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 look, I was no, so, man. I was so no. upset. This is what's happening in america but who's doing it that's the thing man and look why these dudes look here's how i feel and i'm let you guys uh, get your take on i feel like men are sleeping i feel like we're asleep Mm -hmm. and we're aiming at each other we're fighting each other and we don't see what's coming man godzilla's coming they're trying to replace you they're trying to get you you could they don't see what's coming at all man they they're, they're just sleep and they will sell you out for a pet on the head from a woman who don't want them. I said before, the woman don't want the cheerleader. She want the player. And you're sitting there cheering for her. She not going to want you. Why do you think women got problems with us traveling? Because we were supposed to be the backup plan. You're supposed to be the back. Look, a woman told me this. This is real stuff I'm about to tell you, man. 
I was knocking down this ex groupie, bro. She in New Orleans, like she was a beautiful chick, right? I met her. I'm talking about thoroughbred, beautiful. But what I found out was, as, as me and her was dealing together, she st- she was sleeping with the whole New Orleans Saints football team, man. She had been ran through like that. And one day, man, I'm in the bed with her. And she tells me, and she, she tells me like, well, you know, she was upset about her life, where her life was at. And she told me that she had got too old. This made me feel bad. She said she had got too old to deal with the NFL players. And like, she felt bad because of it. She couldn't deal with that no more. Now, look, I, I wasn't no millionaire, but I'm a hundred thousand there. I'm like, damn, what about me? You know what I'm saying? She was looking at me like I had to set up for you. No, the hell you want? You ain't got to set up for me. I'm getting the hell away from your ass. 